Hello beautiful people, it's your girl K-E-R-R-Y Carrie, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about bags. Bags that can take you through the different seasons. So today I'm going to be showing you 10 different styles of bags that you should have in your closet and these bags can take you all throughout the year for uh, the different occasions, the different show stopping occasions that you need to show up for so let's go ahead and get into these bags but before we do so uh, my outfit of the day this dress I featured in a all previously I got it from TJ Maxx I will try to pop up a video on the side to show you um, how I would style it and I have my ponytail in, I um, put up my hair in one, and then I have some new earrings. These are from Asus, absolutely love them. They were less than $20, they're some fashion earrings, but I love them because chunky earring, earrings are in, and I decided to just jazz up the look with these earrings today. So let's go ahead and get into these bags, bags, bags. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the first type of bag that you absolutely need in your closet, and that's a shoulder bag. Now, the shoulder bag, um, it's easy to carry. You put it over the shoulder. You can go hands free. Now, from way back, we saw Chanel came out with the classic shoulder bags, but um, you know Chanel money up there. So, I decided to get the it bag of the season which is this bag and it's the coach t uh, pillow tabby and this is the size 26 and guys like look how plush it is I got the ivory and I absolutely love it I can wear it with this dress right now put some shoes on to match and I will be ready to go absolutely love this bag I've not worn it yet because it's a new in purchase but I do absolutely love it it comes in I think orange green and pink and they do have the mini as well and I will be showing you the mini because I have it but the mini is a mini bag it's not a shoulder bag so when we get to the mini section then we will talk about that but this is the first one that I have in my closet and the newest that I wanted to show you guys to jazz this up I would put on this um, gold strap that I took from my I think my Zara bag and this way I could easily put it over my shoulder as well and boom there you have it another one I have in my closet is this one and this one is definitely um, looking like the classic Chanel shoulder bag this is from uh, this bag is from Sandro Sandro Paris and I absolutely love this bag I love the color and it's tweed it has the chain right there and it's gold hardware and uh, on top is the tweed as well so you can put it over your shoulder the straps won't hurt your shoulders or anything it is big it's nice and spacious uh, spacious this can hold a lot of stuff in the other one I have in my closet is this one and it's from Michael Kors absolutely love this bag I got this as a gift um, last Christmas and I do I do I really do love it it has gold hardware um, this can also be uh, slid down like that and wore and you can wear it as a crossbody as well but I mostly wear it as a shoulder bag so that is why I included this with the shoulder bags so those are the three shoulder bags that I wanted to share with you guys so that's number one all right let us go go ahead and get into bag type number two and it's the cross body bag now the cross body bag is quite trendy it is this bag everybody knows this bag 
So for me, this bag is queen of all the bags because of its ability to let you go hands free. Um, you can throw it across your body and you are able to carry tons of other things in your hands because they're now free and the bag is across your body. So this type of bag I have a lot in my closet. I may not carry them a lot but I do have quite a few of them because my favorite type of bag is com coming up soon. I will let you know when I get to that one. So I'm going to show you like three crossbody ba bags that I've been carrying around lately. And the first one is this one from Marc Jacobs. I absolutely love the, the wide strap because it is able to, it, it's ju it just adds a different, a different vibe. I can adjust the length. I can adjust the length and I also love the two-tone, the color block, block of this one and I can change out the straps if I want to. So that's, this is the first one that I have in my closet. Another one is this green one right here and this is Steve Madden's. I love the tiny strap so I'm able to throw this across or over a blazer, a coat when it's coat season and I will still be looking chic. This actually looks good with this outfit, a nice pop of green. Absolutely love this one. It is a little bit small, but it does, it, it do what it's supposed to do. And finally, the next one is this little baby right here. This is a Michael Kors. It has like that pillow effect which is real trendy right now it has the gold hardware and this is how this one is again real simple and nice and this does go with this outfit too so those are the three crossbody bags that i wanted to share with you again i have a lot but i just wanted to share the ones that i've been using a lot lately so that's number two, the crossbody bag. All right, bag number three, the shopper tote. Right? Who does not have a tote bag? Now the tote bag is perfect to carry your whole life. Like you can't carry everything in there. Matter of fact, if you're going on a weekend trip, a tote bag is a great bag to have. You can pack all your stuff for the weekend in that bag and just go grab one bag and go you can also use it as a carry-on if you are going on vacation and you need to travel by plane you can use it as a carry-on now again I have quite a few of these bags but I'm going to share with you my top three so the first one you guys would have known this bag because I featured this bag on this channel before when I did a what's in my um, coach bag and a lot of you watch that video a lot of you purchased this bag so thank you guys very much and I've been using this bag for work like if you hold this right now it broke your hand because I have everything in there I can drop my laptop in there my camera in there like my whole life is in this bag right now like I can just like literally just unpack and take stuff out of this bag so it's a great bag it is good nice and sturdy so I do recommend this it is no longer available but if I find a link for something similar I will leave it in the description box the next shopper tote I have which is definitely a shopper tote because of the um, what's this now like raffia look that this one have and I bought this from a small business a while back absolutely love it this is a great bag for me to take to the market on a Saturday to go to the farmers market absolutely love it it is nice and sturdy and I love the angles and the color lastly is this denim so this is a light denim and this is a Sandro tote bag absolutely love it it is nice and spacious and can't hold your whole life you know 
um, it has this little pocket on the inside that you can drop stuff in but other than that it's just a tote um, these bags are all over a lot of brands are carrying these bags um, lately so I will leave um, links to similar ones in the description box because the bags that I'm showing they might be out of stock because most of them I've had them for a while the ones that are new in if they're still available please check the description box I will leave those so those are my three shopper totes and again every girl need a shopper tote okay it's a great weekend bag let us move on to the next type of bag. Okay, bag number four. So since we're moving from the large tote, it's only right that I move to the minis or the micro bags. Now, um, Jacquemus came out with these little micro bags and ever since, it's been a frenzy. Now, what do I put in these little micro bags? What? Your opinions about me? I can put those in there. I can put a lipstick or a lip gloss. I can put my bank card and some cash. So um, it's little, it's not really practical, but when you put it on, it adds that extra va va boom to your outfit. And so you would definitely want to have a micro or mini bag. So let me go ahead and kickstart the mini bag with another new purchase that I just got in. It's not even a week old. And it is the Coach Pillow Tabby in 18. Like, oh my God. And I got it in the pale green. The camera is not picking it up. Come, 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 come. Come to mama. Come to mama. Yes! There you go. So that is the color right there. I added this little extra detail, which is a pearl um, strap that I got from Amazon, just to add a little more vava boom to this already gorgeous bag. It's nice and small, does not, cannot hold much, but when you wear this, it, it's gonna give what it's supposed to give okay it comes with the cross body strap which I may not use quite often but it did it did um, come with that it is silver hardware which I absolutely love because a lot of my bags are gold hardware so this is the first mini bag that I wanted to share with you the next one is this one like that this mini 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 like this a mini 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 yes you know get no smaller than this <laughs> i got this from shein a while back it was a mistake purchase when i purchased it i thought it was bigger than this but when it came i realized that it only oh, can't hold no opinion on the feelings but me so me just keep it because me can't put it right in want to feel right in here so okay Anybody else want to borrow it for put the people their feelings in there can borrow it. I'll let no two of them. But it is very, very small, but yet it is chic. It's nice, effective. It it do the work. Okay. Next one. So the bag, the Jacquemus bag that I'm talking about, would look something like this. So this is a dupe of the Jacquemus bag. They're this small. This one I think I got from Burlington and when I saw it, I was like, I'm gonna buy this bag. It was less than, it was less than $15. So I was like, why not? Let me go ahead and buy it. And I absolutely love it. And then pink is my favorite color, so it did the job. Lastly is this gold one right here. I've had this one for a while. I got this from my girl, Nicole, from um, Shop Style Mix and absolutely love it it's a gold bag it's neutral so I can always pick this up whenever I'm all dressed up and it's definitely gonna add a vibe to my outfit so those are the little mini bags that I wanted to share with you I have a few more but these are the ones that are in every rotation let us move on to the next type of bag my bag number five 
is the bucket bag. Now I know a lot of people may not be a big fan of the bucket bag, but it is still a great piece to have in your closet, in your bag arsenal. And this one is a dupe to the stud bag. I've had this for a while, I got it from Shein, and when I saw it, I was like, this is the perfect dupe. And so, it is always great to try a dupe if before, and see if you are going to use it before you actually go out and spend a lot of money on the real thing. Now, if you buy the dupe and you realize that you're carrying it around a lot, then you know, okay, I need to go ahead and invest in getting the real thing. But this dupe is great. It's pink and it has the these um, brown cords. Absolutely love. But my favorite bucket bag in my arsenal is this black one and it's from Ma, um, Marge. Absolutely love this. It's nice and roomy. I take this to work sometime because it is black, it is full leather, and it holds a lot of stuff. Next is another one from Maj. Absolutely love, love the color and the fringe detail. And again, it does have quite a lot of space even though it looks so small. And this is gonna add some extra spice to your outfit because of the color and all of the details that are on it. And finally, in the bucket bag section, because these are all the bucket bags I have. I have no more. This one, I got it from Amazon, but it is from the brand Aldo. Um, if this is still available, I will leave a link for you in the description box. Absolutely love this bag. I love the snake print detail in yellow. This is a great print for spring and I already have some shoes to match, so you will be seeing this one on the gram very soon. Love the top handle, and you can see the detailing there with the threading on um, the top handle and also this um, yellow tassel. So again, it is nice and roomy, and again, they are great bags to have in your closet just in case you just you want to change up your look a little and want to add something extra to it all right let us get into bag number six and bag number six is my absolute favorite type of bag and it is the top and the bag now a top and the bag is practical it's sleek it's easy to carry and it's it just adds an an extra elegance to your look um, these come in all different shapes and colors and I have a lot of them in my closet because they are my favorite bag so I picked out a few let me go with the first um, luxury bag that I ever owned and it's this uh, pink and red Moschino bag I got this for as a birthday gift a while back and I absolutely love this bag. I've never seen this bag ever again. So this one is a classic. I am going to be keeping this for a long while, passing it down to my kids and their kids. So this is the first top and the bag. The next one, which is the newest purchase, is this um, Coach, um, double denim so it's a light wash and then a dark wash denim absolutely love this bag it is nice and structured it features a gold hardware with a flap um, to open and that's how the inside look it does come with a crossbody strap but again it has a top handle so that's what I'm gonna be using next one is this little number right here like look at this bag I got this bag off of Aliexpress last October because I wanted a bag to match my Balenciaga knife mules and when I saw this one on Aliexpress I was like let me go ahead and try it I bought it it took about three weeks to come but when it came I was very very satisfied it is nice and sturdy and it does have those rhinestones on both sides of it all the way around it's you can open it do you hear how that open like 
you can tell that it's really nice and firm it does not hold a lot so this is more of an evening type of bag I can hold it as a clutch so I could put, add this to the clutch family but because of the way it is structured with the top handle that is why I've added it to this um, this type of bag the next one is this is new as well if you guys follow me on Instagram you would have seen when I went to Burlington the other day and picked this one up the tag is still on there it is from Aldo but I got it in Burlington for $25.99 absolutely love it this is screaming like rail spring I love the addition of the scarf detailing which can be removed I can add another one but I'm gonna let it stay there because I absolutely love the detailing it does have gold hardware and again it has the attachment for the crossbody but it has a top handle that's what I will be using lastly is this one and this one is from uh, Steve Madden's and I got this bag because I got the booties as a birthday gift and I wanted to match Kamiya Machi Machi and so I went ahead and bought this bag and I absolutely love it it does come with a crossbody strap as well which is wide like the Marc Jacobs one so I could carry it as a crossbody but I'm a top handle gal and I absolutely love this so those are the ones that I wanted to share with you again I have a slew of them in my arsenal if you have some pull them out use them they will definitely jazz up your look All right bag number seven the clutch like you have to have a clutch even one in your arsenal and I have a few that I'm gonna share with you now clutches elevate any and every evening look they're ideal for those um, classy events that you are attending and they come in a variety of colors and prints the first one I want to share with you is this clear one I've had this clutch for so long guys this is from boohoo it is not it's clear no color to it it has gold hardware so this is a great clutch to have inside of your arsenal the next one is this one right here this is the Louis Vuitton pouchet as the name suggests it's a pouchet but mind your business it is a clutch I'm gonna pack everything in there I'm gonna tuck it under my arm and this is my clutch okay um, this is the size 26 I got this as a birthday gift and I absolutely adore this bag and um, this is my only Louis Vuitton in my arsenal I am saving for more but in the meantime I am going to bask with this one the next one is this furry baby right here I don't even remember where I got this <laughs> because I've been just going into stores and seeing cute stuff and just buy it but I absolutely love this for a baby this is definitely an evening wear okay like please don't take this out in the sunshine please do not this is definitely an evening wear and lastly is this one from Zara now um, it did um, come with the gold strap the one that I put on the coach bag that I showed previously it came from this bag but this is a nice clutch to have again another great evening piece especially when you go on vacation because this is giving you that straw um, raffia vibe great piece to have it's this is also giving Chanel 19 vibes but absolutely love it it is I've never um, worn it yet it's nice and spacious and just a great bag to have so those bags number bag number seven a clutch you need to have a clutch in your arsenal okay good let's move on bag number eight we're almost there guys because remember we're doing ten bag number eight is the straw bag 
and I know a lot of people may not have a straw bag or a raffia type or some what would we say like braided detail bag inside of your closet but I would suggest getting one they're great whenever it's time for you to go on a tropical vacation it just adds that resort vibe to your look and those are the looks that you want to get especially now that it's coming on to summer and everybody wants to go to the beach everybody wants to go to an island like me me wanga jamaica me wanga me yard but me live in florida so me just have to make it work the first one i want to share with you this bag i absolutely love because um, my friend um, phoned me for if you follow her on Instagram she went home um, to Africa Nigeria and she brought this bag for me all the way from Nigeria and she mailed it to me and guys I have loved it ever since like look at the detailing on this bag like I'm gonna have this bag forever it's nice and sturdy like it is it owes a lot because it's quite big okay so this is the first one I would like to share with you another one is this one I got this from my boo um, style by Willie on Instagram absolutely love it I love the two colors and then the tan detailing absolutely love it the top comes off like that and then you can just drop everything that you have inside there this one I got from Walmart I bought this bag when I did my Walmart all but somehow I forgot to show it to you guys but I absolutely love it you can wear this with absolutely any color because like look how many colors are in there if this they have the bigger ones to this but I wanted the small one because it just looks nice and cute and I can put on my swimsuit throw my cover up in this and girl I will be giving I will be serving okay next is this one which is a, um, is from Shein and I've had this I think I bought this last year a great I love the two-tone of the straw and the um, board handle and lastly is this um, black and tan one with the board handle and this is from uh, J Sinclair Styles absolutely love this bag so I have maybe about five other straw bags like I could do a straw bag haul um, those are the straw bags or raffia bags that I have in my closet that I wanted to share with you all right bag number nine are all about the colors colored bag candy color brightly colored bags like you need those especially for spring and summer you can have a neutral outfit on and then just add a pop of color with a bag and a shoe and girl you will be serving okay so I have quite a few colored bags but I've gotten some new ones new ones in and I'm going to be sharing them with you so the first one is this blue bag and this is a dupe to the Bottega cassette bag and it this one is from J Sinclair Styles I don't think she have this in stock anymore because when she put them out I was so indecisive but I was I'm happy that I actually made the purchase before everybody else got their hands on them it has this little um, gold strap right there and then it has a longer strap that you can put over your shoulder or um, crossbody if you are um, smaller but I absolutely love this candy color bag because I love it so much I got it in green as well it's the same bag um, with the gold strap again it is the dupe to the Bottega cassette bag um, I know that these are on Amazon there they are 
a little bit pricey on Amazon because Jay Sinclair, I got these for I think $50 a one or $48, I don't even remember. I wanted all the colors though. But I have these two um, and then another bag. I, I've had this for over a year. This is from ASOS and it's an orange bag. I have another orange bag somewhere. It's from Stud. But I love this. It also have the um, braided detail, but it does not have the straps like that. It, it has the regular straps. So what I'm going to do, I am going to be changing out this strap to one of those gold straps because I love the color of this bag so much. So those are the brightly colored or candy color bags that I have in my closet again. They just they jazz up your outfit and just adds an extra oomph to your looks. And finally, the good old backpack. The good old backpack. Now I know that you guys wasn't gonna think that I'm gonna end this video and not talk about the back backpack. Okay? Now backpack is not only for school. Backpacks. You can use them as handbags, you can use them as laptop carriers, you can even use them for weekend getaways. Now, a lot of brands do have um, backpacks. I know um, a few years ago, Louis Vuitton came out with these little mini ones. Gucci have a few, but I have one, um, I have three backpacks. I, I don't know where I, to find the other two. This one, let me wear the life out of this one. But it is still standing. I got this from Target maybe about two years ago or a year and a half ago. I carried it to work. I took my laptop, everything in there. So I, it has a top handle that I can carry as a bag. And then on the back, it has the straps for the backpack. So whenever my hands got tired, I would just unzip this and throw it on my back. And I was ready to go because carrying it around, it does not, because you can, you can hook it up and pin it up right there. It does not give you that backpack look. But once you're ready to transform it, like this, a transformer, okay? Once you're ready to transform it into the backpack so you can be hands free, you can always do that. And it's going to be still nice and sleek. It holds a lot. It has this front pocket here. And it even has that section for your laptop in the back right there. And still a lot of room in the front right there. So you do need a backpack even if you can do a mini one just to start out and then you can move up the chain and um, get yourself a big backpack again you can use it for a laptop carrier or a weekend getaway don't mind me I'm feeling myself we have come to the end of a another video we talked about the 10 bags that you should have inside of your closet. Number one, the shoulder bag. Number two, the crossbody bag. Number three, the shopper tote. Then the micro mini, the bucket bag, the top angle bag, the clutch, straw bags, candy color or bright color bags, and lastly, the backpack. If you've stuck around this long, girl, don't hesitate. Go ahead, like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a post when I upload one. Once again, thank you for watching and I will catch you in another video. Bye. Mwah.